The James Webb Space Telescope focused on Jupiter's moon Europa and discovered something absolutely extraordinary. It identified carbon dioxide in a very specific location on the moon's surface, implying that something interesting is going on inside it. Decades of solar system exploration have revealed that Jupiter's moon Europa is one of the most promising locations for life beyond Earth. This is due to the huge ocean that the moon conceals behind its frozen cover. When NASA's Voyager spacecraft flew past Jupiter roughly a half century ago, it discovered the underlying ocean for the first time. The mission data revealed that Europa was not just cold, but also possessed a young, frequently renewed outer surface. Further research into Jupiter and its moons revealed that Europa's subterranean ocean of liquid water is twice the size of all of Earth's oceans combined. What really piques our interest in this moon is the likelihood that it formerly harbored life within its strange, black oceans, which may have included organic molecules and possible energy sources. And now, the most powerful space telescope ever built has produced its first major discoveries regarding Jupiter's moon. So how did Webb detect carbon dioxide on Europa's surface? How do astronomers know it came from beneath the moon's surface? Finally and most significantly, why is the discovery of carbon dioxide on Europa's surface so significant? Let us find out together. Hello and welcome to Z. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss our daily videos. What JWST saw on Europa? The James Webb Space Telescope studied Europa with two primary instruments, NIRCAM and NIRSPEC. James Webb's primary camera is NIRCAM. It excels in collecting high-resolution photos in the near-infrared band of light. NIRCAM is made up of two modules, one for wide-field imaging and another for coronagraphy, which is a technique for suppressing the strong light generated by stars or planets in order to expose fainter objects surrounding them. Astronomers first utilized the NIRCAM device to examine Europa while blocking out Jupiter's light. This was observed on January 9, 2023, during Europa's closest approach to Earth. For almost 10 hours, James Webb's 6.5-meter primary mirror was properly aligned with Europa. NIRCAM and NIRSPEC both collected data at the same time during this period. Let's take a closer look at what the James Webb Space Telescope uncovered on Europa's surface. The analysis of the data revealed the existence of carbon dioxide in a specific location of Europa's frozen surface. Carbon dioxide is a gas made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms that is one of the most important substances in the universe. It is thought to have an important role in life, participating in activities like as photosynthesis, respiration, and metabolism. It also acts as a greenhouse gas, trapping heat and altering the climate of the globe. The first thing astronomers wanted to know was where carbon dioxide came from. Was it emanating from the outside world or from within Europa? It would have been more or less the same everywhere if it had come from micrometeorites or objects from outside the moon, but in this case, it was confined in a single area. This location is believed to be geologically fresh chaotic terrain, which is quite intriguing since it signals that something is going on beneath it. What's happening inside Europa? The question now is, how did carbon dioxide get onto Europa's surface, and why is it restricted to a specific region? The solution lies in the possibility that this carbon came from Europa's deep ocean, which is thought to be a viable habitat for life. The ocean on Europa is predicted to be about 100 kilometers deep and to hold more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. Jupiter's gravitational forces, which stretch and compress Europa's interior provide heat and energy which keeps the ocean liquid.
The ocean is separated from the surface by a layer of ice ranging in thickness from 10 to 30 kilometers. However this ice layer is far from homogeneous or static, it is dynamic, with fractures, fissures, vents, and other features. These ice cracks allow for the exchange of materials between the ocean and the surface. The carbon dioxide found by James Webb could have reached the surface via a variety of processes. It could have been dissolved in ocean water and then released as a gas or ice due to pressure or temperature changes. Alternatively, it could have been created in the ocean through chemical or biological processes and then carried to the surface by ocean currents or jets. The region where carbon dioxide was discovered is near Europa's equator and accounts for around 12% of the planet's surface area. This location is known as chaos terrain because of its intricate and disorganized environment, which includes ridges, fractures, blocks, pits, domes, and depressions. This chaotic look is assumed to be the result of dynamic interactions between the ice shell and the underlying water, which cause ice to melt, freeze, fracture, and reorganize itself. This region is also one of the most geologically active and diverse places on Europa, making it a perfect target for web sensors. Why is this such a big deal? You may be asking why the discovery of carbon dioxide on the surface of Europa is such a huge deal. The presence of carbon dioxide, on the other hand, supports the presence of organic molecules or perhaps biological activity within Europa's submerged aquatic domain. Carbonic acid is formed when carbon dioxide reacts with water to generate carbonic acid, which can then dissociate into bicarbonate and hydrogen ions. These ions can alter the pH, salinity, temperature and circulation of the ocean, resulting in distinct chemical conditions that may be appropriate for various types of living forms. Carbon dioxide can also react with other elements or molecules to form more complex organic molecules such as sugars, amino acids, nucleotides and lipids. These molecules, which include carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, and lipids, serve as the core building blocks for life as we know it. They can also store energy or information that live cells can use. Furthermore, biological activity in the water can both consume and produce carbon dioxide. For example certain bacteria can use carbon dioxide as a source of carbon and energy via processes such as photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. The detection of carbon dioxide on Europa would also aid us in our future expedition planning. NASA's Europa Clipper mission, for example, is designed to undertake numerous flybys of Europa in order to examine its geology, composition, and environment. Cameras, spectrometers, radars, magnetometers, and plasma detectors will be among the instruments on the Europa Clipper mission. The information obtained by James Webb will aid in the selection of ideal exploration areas and techniques, testing assumptions about the habitability of Europa's ocean and searching for potential indications of life. Alright folks, that is all for this video, thanks for watching. How did you find the JWST discoveries on Jupiter's moon Europa? Please tell us in the comments below and remember to like, share and subscribe to Z.